So here's problem number five from the 2012 AP Calc A, B, and B, C exams. And in this one, we'll check out part A. And if you read the problem set up here, it says the rate at which a baby bird gains weight is proportional to the difference between its adult weight and its current weight. So the rate at which it gains weight, weight right here, the derivative of its weight with respect to time, is going to be equal to one-fifth times 100 minus B. So here's the constant of proportionality. And then here's the difference between uh, its adult weight, 100 grams, and its current weight, given by B. So time t equals 0 when the bird's first weight is 20 grams. B of t is the weight of the bird, and t is measured in days after its first weight. Y equals B of t is the solution to this differential equation with the initial condition of B of 0 equals 20, and they kind of told us that in sentence form up here. So in part A here, we don't need all of the information that's provided. In part A, it says, is the bird gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 grams or when it weighs 70 grams? Explain your reasoning. Now, pay attention to what these variables represent. T is measured in days. When we have derivatives, we're used to having values of the independent variable, which is typically measured uh, in days, minutes, seconds, typically measures of time are independent variable values, and that's no different here. But if you look at this derivative, this derivative doesn't have t's within it. The derivative has b's within it. And what b represents, b is the weight of the bird. So we want to know if the bird is gaining weight faster at a b value of 40 or at a b value of 70. So all we really have to do to do this is we have to figure out what the value of our derivative, this represents the rate of change of the weight of the bird. We have to figure out what the value of this is at a weight or a b value of 40. And that's going to be 1 fifth times 100 minus 40. So that'd be 1 fifth of 60. And then 1 fifth of 60 is going to be 12. And if you want to think about the, the units of this, uh, a derivative is a specialized slope calculation, a specialized rate of change. And it's going to have units of in this case b, so that's going to be grams, divided by units of t. And in this case, t is measured in, what does it say, days, right? Yeah, up here it says t is measured in days, so grams per, per day. So at a weight of 40 grams, the bird is gaining weight at a rate of 12 grams per day. We also want to figure out what db dt is at the B value of 70 when the bird weighs 70 pounds or 70 pounds that'd be a big bird 70 grams and to determine that we're doing the exact same thing we're just tossing 70 in place of B that's a measure of the weight of the bird and that's exactly what B represents so we go ahead and evaluate this we're looking at 30 in the parentheses 1 fifth times 30 1 fifth of 30 is going to be 6 grams per day. It kind of makes sense. The bird is going to be gaining weight most quickly when it's really small. And then as it reaches maturity, it's going to gain weight uh, at a slower rate. So it's gaining 12 grams per day at this weight. It's gaining 6 grams per day at this weight. So is the bird gaining weight faster when it weighs 40 or 70 grams? Well, it's gaining weight faster at a weight of 40 grams. Uh, explain your reasoning. Well, the rate of change of the bird's weight is larger at a B value of 40, at a weight of 40, than it is at 70.